difference. Okay, those kids are getting ready to go back to school. We want them to be fed and ready to be smart before they walk out of the door in the morning. So Don Rains is here with Don's Meat Shop with great breakfast ideas and quick and easy meal prep for those moms and dads out there uh, ready to make back to school fun. So good to see you. Good to see you, Julie. I'm saying back to school, but the truth is everything on the table this morning is good for anybody. If your kids are grown and out of the house, you can still benefit. Absolutely. From our conversation. I do want to start with breakfast. Okay. Um, because in recent years, I think more and more parents are looking to giving their kids protein yep. before they walk out of the door mm -hmm. as opposed to sugary cereals. Right. So you can help with that. You've got these great sausages, yep. right? Yep. You know, this is a beef stick, which is great for a protein snack. Oh, like a jerky day. would be. Same Absolutely. Idea? Absolutely. Then we have a kielbasa here, which is great for breakfast. Uh -huh. And we have a whole line of breakfast sausages yes, that I didn't do. bring. Okay, now I'm curious about the beef stick. That's that's big, Don. Yeah. So does it when you do you cook it or do you just thaw it? Have you you, already? Ju you just thaw it. It's already cooked. You can warm it if you want to. Okay. So you can just cut it up Absolutely. for your kids to enjoy. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you had a great idea, though. You know that when it's hot out there, a lot of people. I'm one of those who will say, I just don't want to eat in the summertime mm -hmm. the way I do in the wintertime. Right. The idea of coming in and really cooking over a hot stove is not a lot of fun. That's the right. The crock pot can become your friend. Absolutely. So you brought a roast. I did, you know, everyone knows this for steaks, but I've got a lot of roasts. I got a lot of things that work in a crock pot. Um, you are known for your steaks, you said that, so of course you brought them. Mm -hmm. You have taught us that you can go ahead and cook your steak well if you want to, but you're missing out. You sure. ought to cook it to be rare to medium rare. Right. That means it doesn't take as long to cook it. They can be a quick meal. That's right. That's right. I mean, you can do most steaks in somewhere between five to 20 minutes, depending. If you were going to cook up like this filet that you're so known for, mm -hmm. what would you, how would you do it? it? Well, it depends on how, how you want to eat it. If you want it medium rare or medium, then I would just sear it, take the heat down, and take the internal temperature to about, you know, 130 maybe. Do you cover it when you cook it? If you're going to sear it and then no, turn the heat down? No, not necessarily. Okay. Just, just, just low heat. Now, if you wanted it medium well, I would butterfly it and cook it to, to well. Okay. Is it true that it's a good idea to leave your any kind of meat on the surface for a while on one side before flipping it? Do we flip things too much? We can, you know, you really don't need to flip more than once or twice. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, talk about your hamburgers. What an easy go-to on the, because groceries are getting expensive. You yeah, know that absolutely. too. absolutely. This is an easy one to give kids a great meal and they feel like it's kind of a snack at the same time. Right. You know, I make four different sizes of hamburger patties, but that particular one is a special one. That's one of my new ones. That's a Wagyu. Oh. Yeah, Which so means that that's one, high that, end. That, that is a very high end one. That's the Saks Fifth Avenue of hamburgers right there. Right. Now, <laughs> but I've got great hamburgers that, that work, and I've got it anywhere from four to eight ounces. You know, we're fish lovers at our house. Mm -hmm. Is this, what is this that you brought? That's a stuffed chicken breast. Oh, okay. And your chickens are still on sale on Mondays? They are. Um, so you can see, I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see. That's an ovenable say, item. An ovenable. Yes, you know, just put it and pop it in the oven. Yep. You know, or a toaster oven, and 30 minutes later, you're good to go. That's a whole meal right there in and of itself. Absolutely. You are known for the sides. You brought some of those mm -hmm. with you this morning. Are these, is that fried okra? Yeah, uh, that's a, a lightly breaded okra. Okay. And, you know, it's one of my most popular sides, believe it or not. Macaroni and cheese. Right, that's an individual serving. So if you don't want it, you know, how many times do you throw out a lot of mac and cheese <laughs> yeah. when you make it? So that's an individual serving if you say you have one or two children mm -hmm. and you, you want something that they'll eat, mm -hmm. but you want to do other stuff for you. Right. There you go. Okay, um, I did talk about the seafood, so I have a minute left. Look at the shrimp that you brought, Don. Cooked shrimp, thaw and eat. So That's good. an easy one. What is this? This is a pecan crusted tilapia. Oh, nice. 15 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees, okay, maybe that's, 20. Okay, that's something else. If you're wanting to broaden your kids' palates and let them learn to eat some other foods, but mm -hmm. you're not quite sure how to do it, see, he makes it all seasoned and ready to go, too. So just give it a try. Yep. You have easy cleanup, and they'll have something new to enjoy. <laughs> all right, Don, thank you so much. I know we didn't touch on everything, but if folks will just come in and shop, they can see the huge inventory Absolutely. you have. You're keeping your prices low. 
to help people mm -hmm. through this difficult time. Yep. Uh, you're part of the community and you want folks to, to come in and shop. Absolutely. Don's Meat Shop on yep. Hickson Pike, 842-1256. Thank, Thank you, Julie. You. Set, 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 set